Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to create this beautiful bandana design in the app IBS Pen Text. So for the bandana design, I am going to use the 1 is to 1 ratio because it's going to be in the square. Uh, we are going to print on the square shaped cloth. So for that, first I am going to create the background color. To create that, I just created the first layer and filled with the red color. And I'm going to create some borders. To create border, I just created a new layer and filled with this aqua blue like color. And click on the zoom uh, transform tool. Click on that minus symbol. I will get at the zoom option. And then click click the tick. And here is my border. You can create the border easily using this method. Now I'm just duplicating this aqua blue layer and filling with the green color. Now once again I'm going to create the border. So for that click on the transform tool, zoom and then tick. So here is my two lines border with the background color. So now I'm going to use the kaleidoscope ruler with the division 4 to create the symmetrical illustration on this. So here like this we will get. So for uh, before that I am going to merge all these three layers into the single layer. So that we had the border as well as back on the same uh, layer. In the new layer I am going to draw the illustration. Usually for bandana design we have the illustration, uh, symmetrical illustration at the diagonal position. To create that I just changing the face of kaleidoscope over like this so keeping on that in the zero we can draw symmetrical illustration at the diagonal direction like this so this is the important point you have to note and once you change the position of that kaleidoscope ruler in this diagonal direction we can create the illustration so in the new layer and drawing like this, I use the circle tool and changing the color. And I'm going to draw one more circle like this, and you can see everything happening on the diagonal line. Uh, symmetry, everything happens on the diagonal position. So now I'm going to draw some floral designs. I'm just choosing the red color and I'm using the special lasso fill tool to draw this. So basically I'm going to draw a lotus. It's not uh, required uh, that you have to draw exactly as you can see somewhere. It's your illustration you can try. Uh, what you feel and you can come out with the best illustration so I'm just drawing from my mindset so now I'm going to add some details I use digi color and dip pen hard brush and clicking on the switch uh, option and now to create the smooth corners Please click on the force fit option. So like this, I'm going to add the details. Since I switched on the alpha lock, I add these details very easily. So now I'm going to add some shade. So clicking on the alpha lock for this layer and using the add brush, uh, brush using some mild color, I'm just adding shades like this at the bottom as well as the top corner of that flask. Okay, my first floor detail is over. Now, in the another diagonal direction, I'm going to draw some other details. So, for this, I'm using aqua blue color. Again, I'm going to use the special lasso fill tool. I'm drawing something like a leaf. So, like this. Again, it's based on my imagination. I'm drawing something like different leaves and at the top I'm going to draw a lotus flower so I'm going back to the red color here I'm going to draw a lotus like this so 
whenever you want to make a accurate shape design uh, use this uh, lasso fill tool from the special uh, tool option uh, to create such thing instead of using any brushes it works better than the brush so i prefer that and once again i'm going to draw the lotus here some buds as well and leaves as well okay now the design is ready i'm going to add some details for this so create a new clipping layer with the add blending mode and using add brush some light almost like a white color i'm just adding shading uh, at the corners alone you can see i also added some shades to the uh, flower like this okay this make uh, much difference you know now i'm going to add the same details we have done before so i'm uh, adding some line details using like peach like color and deep pen hard brush like this also i'm going to add here here okay now my major two details at the diagonal direction is ready so still i feel like there is more empty spaces so i'm going to add some details here using the felt tip pen hard brush and circle tool so it's something like a bubble or a circle whatever you can imagine like this okay now it looks good so i feel like the background is more empty i want to add more details to the background so i'm switching off all the uh, uh, visibility of the layers of all the details and i'm going to create a pattern to create this pattern i want the uh, diagonal uh, i mean the kaleidoscope ruler to be like this so keep at 0.0, .0 position and using the felt tip and hard brush i'm drawing this detail since this is going to be a basic background pattern this is not going to be influencing much on the design but to add some extra uh, flavors to our design so i'm not concentrating much on its details so making very simple uh, details like this i'm using lasso eraser now to erase the detail uh, erase the shapes like this and my detail is ready so i want to create a pattern so uh, before that i'm adding some shades to the uh, design so i'm just switching off the kaleidoscope ruler and i'm using the alpha lock uh, for this layer to add this white shade and now the detail is ready i want it to be bigger and i'm just making sure the corners are touching uh, the edges of the canvas so that we can create the continuous pattern here you can understand why i created like this just click on the repeat option from the transform tool and here you can see the design i mean the uh, one uh, hexagon like shape touching the another because i just increased the position increased the uh, size of that design as well as uh, i made the corner touch the edges of the canvas so that's how we create that pattern so i'm changing the blending mode of this uh, layer as overlay so it looks better compared to all other blending modes here you can see it looks really well and i'm just reducing its opacity so now you can see the details added to the corner red uh, aqua blue corner as well to avoid that just switch off that details and click on select the uh, border details using the magic wand tool and now go back to the pattern layer and erase using the lasso erase now there is no details at the borders so this is how you can erase any detail from any kind of illustration very easily so i'm just making it visible all the layers and just reduce the opacity of the pattern 
how it looks good so i want to add some details at the center all other corners or okay now setting back to the diagonal position i'm going to use pinkish color not a peach color and using the lasso fill tool to draw like this and fill with the color same color now i'm going to add some leaf like details behind this uh, diamond shape so i'm using aqua blue color using lasso fill tool drawing leaves like this it's not required that you have to make a certain shape or something like that so i'm just making uh, some random shapes not exactly symmetry one not something like that and i'm going to add details same like we have added to the uh, you know the lotus but this time i'm using the lasso fill tool to add this detail Okay, now it's ready. I'm going to add some shades to it. Just create a clipping layer and using this green, dark green color, add brush, brush to add shades like this only at the inner part of the leaf so that it makes a 3D kind of look. Okay, I want it to be more darker. So selecting something darker color and shading like this okay now it is ready i'm adding some lighter details at the corners of the leaves using the same airbrush so now it is ready i'm going to create some more diamonds just duplicate the layer fill with the color bg and reduce its size by using this zoom option and here is my diamond with the border so again one more time i'm going to duplicate this already duplicated layer fill with the red color and reduce its size using the zoom option click a tick and now two border diamond is ready so using lasso eraser tool i'm going to make some designs here so I'm not making any flower or anything like that. This is just a random geometric kind of design. And I also erasing at the corners. Since you can see how I make designs using an eraser. So usually we make a design using the brush. Instead I'm using the eraser to make the designs. So uh, making, uh, I'm just switching on the alpha lock for this red uh, diamond shape and adding some darker color using the add brush. Okay, now it is ready. Since, okay, my leaves are not that much clouded. So I'm just going to merge this two shade and leaves together and I'm just going to duplicate this layer and I'm just changing the angle like this using the transform tool and now it is more clouded. I want to change the color of these uh, newly duplicated leaves little bit so I'm just shading with some darker shade of this aqua blue it doesn't make that much difference but i feel i should uh, change the color a little bit so i'm doing you can see uh, in like, very mild difference so this is our final bandana design if you like this tutorial please subscribe to my channel and tell me in the comment below what kind of tutorial you want so thank you for watching